go. Streaming from South Africa to the world. To the world. This is the Stonks Go Moon podcast. What just happened? We break it down so you don't have to. Welcome everyone to the Stonks Go Moon podcast. Avatars are rising, deepfakes are thriving, ownership is up for grabs, AI and Web3 are colliding fast, and one founder is already building the future. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today, Roman Siganov, founder and CEO of Antics. Welcome to the pod. Hey, Roka. Nice to see you. And uh, let's rock at this podcast. <laughs> um, first of all, before we start, Antics, is that, because um, it, uh, it could be a play on two words. It could be Antics, like I'm up to something, or it could be Antiques, which is something older and collectible. Which one is it? Mm -hmm. Um, the first one. Antics. Ah, you're up to something mischievous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So you've worked with giants, um, some notable ones, Warner Brothers, Tencent. You've yeah. exited a startup, now leading antics. Um, sort of what's been the common thread throughout your journey with AI, gaming, Web3, tech in general? What's been that golden string for you? Yeah, look, I became from art perspective. I am an artist in the oh. beginning and developer in the beginning. Like, uh, I developed a lot for like AAA titles, like by myself. And then I organized uh, my first company yeah. uh, where we did also stuff for Hollywood, for movies, for the films, etc. Um, then I had a, an exit from this company and uh -huh. organized a new one what we are developing right now. And uh, based on my reputation on the market in Web2 specifically for content creation, uh -huh. we started to work with the biggest companies like HBO, Warner Brothers, Tencent. And we was being participated for biggest AAA titles like Game of Thrones, FIFA, PUBG, <laughs> and all of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so so on, on what major movies did you work? Just to give people sort of an idea. Uh, for example, in Antics, mm. we worked with uh, Game of Thrones, where we did a lot of uh, like creativities with mm. uh, characters, with environments, some music, like a big part of subcontract development. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, the same for other platforms, like uh, with Warner Brothers, because HBO and Warner Brothers split it. Mm. This mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is why we have two titles on the one franchises. Yeah. And also, I had I, I have a co-founder. Uh, she is ex CEO in Walt Disney CIS region. She runs thirteen different countries, thirteen years. Uh, <laughs> she was been gratitude okay. by Ford Business School, and right now we are running our company together with her. So this is also why we have so many knowledge about the market, specifically in entertainment. So, and, um, and, um, uh, uh, content creation. Yes. So. Yes. Okay. But now output named you, uh, one of the top 10 global talents, right? So that's why yeah. you are here today. <laughs> that's why I want to speak to you is because of that fact. And you said your recognition in web two, right? Is helping you sort of your, your, your business now. So how important would you say is that recognition for someone uh, maybe just starting out in, in the industry. I mean, it sounds to me like it's very important. Yeah, de definitely. Mm. Uh, how it's help? Like, first of all, no, how we are selected Web3 for us, for our journey and for our technology, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're selected because we should save our identity for community with contents which we are creating right now based on digital twins, mm -hmm. which means right now we have a lot of deep fakes, let's say, yes. and uh, people creating these deep fakes without any proof or verification. And uh, our, uh, our point is to verify any content based on digital twins to protect data, to protect information and the content, mm -hmm. uh, which if you will create your digital like copy, mm -hmm. uh, you should verify by blockchain this is you behind all this project or not mm. if not you will have no verification and uh, your community or community in general will know like this is a fake yeah. or not this yeah. is like one of the main reason why we became to web3 area 
So you're talking about hyper-realistic AI-powered digital humans, right? Taking yourself and digifying, I uh, think, yourself without someone doing it for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, one of the interesting points, mm. because where we came from Web2 content creation area, where yeah. I completely know how many money it's, it's taken. Like, in the beginning, we are spending more, most more than 400k us dollars per minute content creation Jeez. like for cd animation stuff yeah take a minute take a minute then we are decreasing the cost for 100k us dollars and now the cost for the production is two dollars per minute two dollars like minus 99 percent of the cost for the production minus and when we are realize it for us it's what's been disrupted uh, yeah disrupts our own structure in the company. Because the barriers to entry just go from this to yeah. that. It means that everyone with access to the technology and is a creative. It doesn't matter now if you don't have a studio behind you or you don't have a hedge fund behind you or a venture capitalist or whatever. I can now use that technology and, and put something out there for people to enjoy. That is... I would say on par or at a level or close to what the big guys are doing. Exactly. This is why I really love the line, like Hollywood in your pockets, where you can create any type of content based on mm. our platform. And uh, what is the unique point of the platform? Because we have a lot of knowledge about our direction, what is the angle for the camera, what is the like movement of the camera and all the tricks. And we have trained data based on our expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is why the content looks unique in this case, like really professional. Uh, but you're mm -hmm. spending like a couple yeah. of bucks. Yeah. No, but that's a very important point because with generative AI, uh, stable diffusion, whatever it is, some of the output I call is low value output because everything looks the same. So what I like what you guys are doing is you're actually putting another layer on it. To, and that's why it looks different. It looks, it's like, oh, wow. Okay. You can immediately see this isn't just an LLM output. This is something completely unique. Correct. Correct. This is one of the points. Mm. And also... <clears throat> because we have like a huge team for content creation. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our first, let's say, customers in-house mm -hmm. to understand the type of features and futuristics uh, really, really like beneficial for uh, content creation team, which mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. This is why mm -hmm. we know what we should use for our final product and what not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk a bit about that uh, digital twin, because um, not so long ago, there were stories about especially voice actors uh, talking about big studios taking their voice or using their voice without their permission. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, I think, something that's going to become more and more of an issue. So how do you actually protect your digital identity? Mm -hmm. I think your question have the two parts. Mm -hmm. The first part is unregular right now. Like nobody know how to regulate uh, AI at this moment. I mean to say yeah. data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Data. yeah. Be be Because yeah. without data, we can't be on the point where AI became bigger and better. But uh, we should have this data to train mm -hmm. this data. Because mm -hmm. if you are a singer, you're also training by data based on previous generations, right? So this is the yeah, same, sample uh, the same stuff. And the uh, second part is where I really care about protection of the uh, final product and identity. Mm -hmm. This is why chain looks much interesting for us to do it, where anybody will look at the blockchain to realize, okay, this is like a specific like piece of the contents have a verification or not based mm -hmm. on the blockchain and index. If not, it's like uh, making like a question mark, right? Mm -hmm. If yes, you are completely understands. Okay, behind of this project or the content or digital twin, we have a real person, mm -hmm. uh, like not an artificial one, but like real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on this stuff.
But will you actually be able to own that um, digital IP? Or are we just going to give it to another platform and entrust them again with um, with that? Is it is it actually, are you able to own it yourself and then lease it out to a Hollywood studio or someone that wants to use it? Do you know, I think these ideal questions and really, let's say, mm. uh, mental uh, and like, I would like to answer in this way. Okay. Um, the blockchain, the structure where you can look at without any platforms, mm -hmm. because it's open platform, right? Mm -hmm. This is the first, second point, we're working on it to make open a blockchain where you will verify yourself with your content, and then you can easily to shift to another platform. Uh, which ah. use the same blockchain, same blockchain. Because one of the feature of our platform is to make a rent, to make like a sale of the digital identity for some oh. businesses. For example, if you are okay. like influencer and you had a have a community, and uh, some of the business would like to use your face to produce some content, mm. you have a bunch and the list with different uh, checking marks, checkbox. Uh, like, okay, I'm ready to use my uh, identity for, let's say, for the health, for the crypto, and nothing else. Okay. Then these companies can rent your uh, digital twin to produce a content without your involving, but with your verification. Just they will produce some content with you. They will pay you a rent for for this con this face and for your cool. For your that's, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's They're so cool. Like crazy. Do you, do you, do you yeah. have in, in within those rights? Do you have a final say? Because uh, maybe I don't want my digital identity. I don't know promoting a alcohol product or a cannabis product or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is there sort of rights that you can set up there? Exactly. Uh -huh. This is what you will like make in setup in your uh, panel. Like, yes, I'm ready for that for that for this, and not for this and uh, that and this. Like, yes, yes, yes. Now that's oh man, that sounds so cool. Take me through um, that process of do you vet influencers? Um, is it is it anyone that can come from the public, or what are you looking for? What what type of people are you looking to onboard? Right now, we have a specific uh, focus on mm, the execution. Mm. And the focus is, is creative economy markets, which means really like general. Okay. Uh, if uh, some small businesses would like to produce a content, they are our customer and clients. Mm. If some small influencer would like to do it, they are our clients or big influencers. Mm -hmm. So the people or businesses who have an interest to produce like AAA quality, uh, content for cheaper price. Mm. And what are the interesting point right now? We are using our technology for our social media, and we are first in my life faced with a problem where we have more content than we can can to post. <laughs> and, well, uh, what a nice like, what a nice problem to have. <laughs> I mean, I know. <laughs> It's no. like uh, some people are struggling to generate content, and you have too much. It's like, oh, we yeah. can we can drip feed it to till the end of the year. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. So, so what's so what's next um, for you guys? Like, what do you want to accomplish uh, before the end of this this year? Let's say the next six months, twelve months. What what milestones do you want to hit? Uh, <clears throat> so first of all, we would like to launch our platform to the public. Okay. Uh, quarter two this year, we're Pretty launching too. our our TGE. Okay. And uh, beginning of this summer, we are launching our platform to the public. Okay. Uh, and of this month or beginning of May, we're launching launching our platform for wish lists and for our investors. Yes, uh, because our community is growing right now. We have a community with uh, 250k subscribers, uh, and the, the number of investors approx uh, 12 right now. Okay, who cool, is cool. invested to our platform? Yes. So, 
this is like a first mountains uh for us uh yeah okay awesome roman thank you so much for joining me today it's been an absolute pleasure i can't wait to see what you guys come up with in this space i think the i think everybody is just waiting for something fresh and different and i think you guys are going to pr provide it if the listeners or if there's an influencer out there that wants to get into contact with you or uh, find out more about what it is that antics uh, does where can they do that yeah thank thank you so much rocco so I stare at the cracks and the we'll put all the links every in the comments. Uh, thank I you so stole. much. And to so our listeners, peace, love, like and prosperity. And we'll catch you the next twin one. Who was lost, trying to outrun you. So I lied, so I laughed, so I played like a king. Built the throne out of silence and suffering. So I ran, so I fought, so I drowned in the pride. Now I sift through the wreckage I used to hide. Maybe I won't make you right. But maybe I could try tonight. Maybe time ain't kind of thieves. But maybe grace still believes So I count every friend that I pushed away Like ghosts in the room that forgot to stay So I burn every bridge with the poet's pen Then cry in the ash like I lost again So I swore, so I stepped, so I blamed every face Built excuses to cover what I couldn't replace So I drink, so I smoke, so I laugh like I'm fine But I'm haunted by clocks in the weight of time So I walk, so I fall So I crawl through regret Trying to trade all the pain For some peace I ain't met So I bleed, so I pray So I bend till I break Still I rise with the hope That my soul can remake Ay, what if this is the last time I get to breathe deep? What if next life depends on the one that I keep? What if heaven ain't gates but the lessons we sow? What if good ain't a place but the way that we grow? So I own it now Every fault, every flaw, every rule that I bent, every self-made law So I stand in the dark, but my hands still shake Trying to build from the pieces I chose to break So I reach, so I write, so I speak to the sky Saying, God, I was wrong, but I'm still gonna try So I learn, so I lose, so I give what I can In this life, for the next, I will die So I man. walk, so I fall, and rise So I crawl through regret, crawl, crawl through regret. Trying to trade all the pain for what? For some peace I ain't made For some peace I ain't made So I bleed, so I pray Still true So I bend till I pray Till I bang, till I pray Still I rise with the hope One day That my soul can remake So I see, so I know So I let it all go In the next life I'll be better But this one ain't over So I fall, so I crawl through regret, trying to trade all the pain, for what? For some peace I ain't made, so I bleed, so I bang till I break, still I rise with the hope, and my soul can remake, in the next life, I'll be better, but this one ain't over, but this one ain't over, in the next life, I'll be better. But this one ain't over But this one ain't over That my soul can